Hey everybody, this is Sheets, and we're going to be doing a slate preview and more, more accurately, a uh, lineup construction video for tomorrow's LPL slate. And again, I, I always think about uh, committing to uh, developing more content for uh, League of Legends because I really enjoy it quite a bit uh, from a DFS perspective. Uh, the it, it's very it's it's a very unique sport from from a math perspective. It's a very unique sport from a sweat perspective. That's for sure. And I have success at it, and it's 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 quite a lot of fun. And just the only issue is, among others, just the timing of it. I mean, it just starts at five in the morning or two in the morning Eastern time. So you can't really you can't give it the the attention. It probably. I don't want to say probably, but it could deserve, meaning just staying right there until lock and seeing if there's any changes. But I mean, quite honestly, the, the, the projections don't change too much. The players don't change all that much. And the amount of times you do get a late sub is so infrequent that I don't really even think about it. But I think it's important to, to keep learning how to use Saberson and to use his stems and use whatever to kind of hone in our process here. and. I'm just kind of going to talk through this. So we're looking at a two-game slate tomorrow. Um, we have LGD against uh, Ninja in pajamas, and you have Anyone's Legends against BLG. And uh, both both uh, matches, or both whatever you call them, fixtures, or both of them could have quite a bit of upside. Um, and you see that it anyone's legends is a big minus 300 underdog and uh you know they they've uh they've done pretty well this year i don't i don't know about that price but i don't really bet on this kind of stuff so i, I refer you to gelati lol's patreon for betting advice uh, we're just going to look at this from a dfs perspective so the first thing that i did was i up i uploaded my projections in here and then i ran five thousand lineups okay uh I don't even know if there are 5,000 combinations, but I, I imagine that there are. <laughs> um, just to get a pool of lineups to kind of pick to to pick from. Um, and it's like to show you, um, using no tweaks, no anything, I'd be getting, it looks like, let's see, uh, team stacks, like oh, literally 100%. BLG, 100% Ninja in Pajamas, that's just in my top 40. But then even in the pool exposures, all right. So if you look at the, the full pool, uh, pool exposures that we have, what do we have? 544 total lineups. That's what we built. 544 unique lineups, I guess. We have BLG in about 65% of them. And then Ninja in Pajamas, like 60%, then anyone's legends and actually 40% in LGD. So the thing is, is that the lineups that you're going to get to those teams are just going to, you know, project a little bit lower, but when it comes to league of legends, again, it's not as important to deal with a median projection, but to figure out how the team is going to do when it in fact wins. And, and that's why some of the projections look pretty high sometimes or some of the underdogs is because when they do win, they're going to score a lot. But now that doesn't mean that they're going to win that often, you know? So uh, look, it's, it's great for anyone legends that when they win, if that's the case, that they score really well, but that's still problem is it's only going to happen about what? 30% of the time. And no, no, the three to one underdog is more like 20% of the time almost. So got to be very careful, you know, overdoing it with these underdogs yet. What's cool about League of Legends, DFS, is that it's so important to try to get unique that even if they're only going to win like 20% of the time, it might be worth a shot if when they do win, you're going to get unique lineups. Okay. So when you when you're building these lineups in League of Legends, it's 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 not really that important to figure out who's going to win. It, it really is more important to figure out how to construct these lineups to get yourself a chance to win, but hopefully get yourself some uniqueness. Now, okay, first thing I want to look at is of these 5,000 lineups that I've built, okay, 
how many of them were straight four threes and how many of them were stacks, for example, or, or, or other things. The first thing I'll notice is that of the top 40, we have uh, 35 four threes and five four twos. Um, and when it comes to the top, what, uh, how many is this? Eight, 800, that's what we said. 840 lineups, is that the total, whatever. Um, you're dealing with about 80% four threes. Um, so, so that's the first question you have to really a ask yourself is, are you willing to play four twos? Um, and as much as, you know, as much as it, it, it is difficult for four twos to get there, I think that when you are trying to get unique in some way, I think you have, to, I, I'm going to start leaving them in my pool a little bit more. I still don't know whether I should be hand checking these. Like, for example, if I looked at these four twos, for example. Let's just look at these. You'll see that okay, you have LGD in the in the cap uh, in the as the as the one off. Here you have anyone's legend as the one off. Here you'll have again LGD as a one off. Again LGD team is a one off, and anyone's legend is one. -off. Okay, so I do like to see that those are the kind of the normal like four twos, you know, as opposed to, you know. Uh, some of them that have like you, you'll sometimes see Sabersen pop out these lineups with random one-offs in positions, and that's that's pretty difficult to get to. But in some situations, some very unique situations, they happen all the time. Like whenever there's something to think about. Whenever uh, Hanwha Life plays and Doran is in the in the slate, he shows up in in more optimals as a one-off from the top position than than anybody I can remember. I don't know how, why, or whatever, but it just does. So I kind of keep a note of that. Whenever Hama Life plays, you got to get a certain amount of Duran in the in the top position uh, by himself. It just it just happens too often. Um. Okay. So what we're not going to do is just kind of just put in what we have here, which would be a hundred percent BLG and a hundred percent Ninja in pajamas. We have to try to do something else. So. We have to get diverse in a little bit. So the first thing I'm going to do is going to run a contest sim here. So we're going to download my existing lineups. And the reason why we do that is just so that we can um, access the sim settings a little easier. So we right-click this and we hit Add uh, Contest Sim. So it's going to save the information from the Shock Blast. Um, it'll show 1960. Uh, and... The, the, the thing is, is that it's asking for what field lineups we want to use to presume, you know, that people are going to play. Because we're trying to compare our set and rank the top 40 against a certain field of lineups. But uh, we don't know what that field is. So we're guessing here. So so one way to do it is to just uh, is to just use the straight Sabre Sim ownership. OK, and we're going to do that for now. But there is another way to do it, which we're going to get to in a second. I just want to see the difference. So we're going to keep this as it is. Saber Sim ownership is going to determine what the field looks like. And we'll keep this the way it is. Let's save settings. And what we're going to do is we're also going to put something in the Triumphant Warrior, even though it doesn't have its own. So we're going to add, we're going to add the details for the Triumphant Warrior. We'll keep it at Saber Sim ownership and we'll go payout structure. Uh, custom, and it's pretty much the same as as uh, as the shock glass with respect to um, the 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 percentages. But uh, there's only like 20 people in it, so we'll save this one. And now we're going to run the Sims, and we're going to see what how we rate these 40 lineups when we factor in what we think the Sabre Sim ownership is going to be or or what the Sabre Sim ownership dictates the field is going to be. So that was pretty quick. Let's see what the shock blast looks like now. So under risk adjusted ROI, which is like where I like to sort this, you'll see that um, now we'd be getting about 90% BLG, but now we're not going to get 100% Ninja in pajamas anymore. Now, now we'd be getting about 60% 
ninja in pajamas. And then even 40% LG, you know, 40% LGD, obviously, the other, the other side of, of ninja in pajamas. And we even getting a sneaky little 8% of, of, of anyone's legends when we run the sim. So you can kind of sense it's doing its job a little bit, you know, because obviously BLG and 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 uh, Ninja Pajama is going to show up in the optimals most often, but that's not what we're looking at. We're trying to find out what is going to be, what could show up in the optimal, but also might not be owned by everybody. Okay. So the next thing that I'll do is, well, first let's check and see the stack exposure and see if we get in four twos with this. And yeah, we're actually getting seven of the 40 lineups at four twos. Now we can, again, we can, we're going to probably want to hand check those just to make sure they're not completely silly. Um, but aside from that, this is, this is a pretty good place to start. The next thing you could do if you wanted to get a little more diverse is, is try uh, raising your min uniques to say min uniques two. And, and, and the reason why it's, it's kind of, I don't want to say fishy, but it's, 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 it, it's, we're in League of Legends, so they're only a two game slate. So they're not that many combinations. So it's hard to get too many min uniques without really sacrificing your, you know, your, your projections or even your, your total amount of combinations. So when you do min uniques two, you're going to get, let's see, team stacks. All right, so now we're going to get 82% BLG, 65%. So we get a little more any uh, anyone's legends and a little more, actually the same amount of, of uh, NIP and LGD. And when it comes to stack exposure here, let's take a look. We'd once again be getting like 32 four threes and eight four twos. And again, we probably want to just, well, listen, we have time. We probably want to just kind of hand check that just to see what it is. Let's see. Let's look at all the four twos. I just want to make sure that they're just not so like like here, like you're gonna get a, a one-off of of high chow in the mid position. Um I mean that type of thing just doesn't come in all that often, you know. So so maybe you might not want to play that one. I mean it's usually the ones with the team in the uh by itself that that usually works out um, in the straight four twos. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, what else? All right, so let's let's now go back to our sims, and we're going to do the next experiment. And the next experiment is going to be to not use just the Saber Sim ownership as the fields, but to use something else as the field. Now, what, what I'm going to suggest is that since I built 5,000 lineups um, using what I thought were pretty decent projections, that those lineups are a better representation of what the field would be than just using the Saber Sim ownerships. Um, so let's change these settings a little bit. So instead of using the Saber Sim ownership to indicate the field, let's do, let's change that to build one. Okay. Which means that now the field we're going to presume is the field that, you know, is the field is exactly the lineups that we built. Um, and then we're going to compare ours basically to ourselves to figure out if we can find some, you know, uh, some bit of leverage. So let's run these. And I'm just curious if there's going to be any real difference between between those two approaches. Now let's take min uniques one off for a minute, and let's uh, let's do uh, uh, okay. Not risk, not ROI. Let's do risk adjust ROI again. All right. So when we do risk adjusted ROI with the new settings, what do we get? Well, I mean, it's not too much different. We'd be getting actually 95% BLG, 80% Ninja Pajamas, 20% LGD, and 5% AL. And if we went to Min Uniques 2 here, we'd be getting, I mean, 
still just a lot more of these favorites um, than we did when we were just using Sabre Sim ownership. The other thing I want to look at is the stack exposure here. So stack exposure, only one or two. Okay. So what do you do in a situation like this? Well, you, you could go with this, um, but I'd be kind of more inclined since the Sabersome ownership got me a little bit, uh, the Sabersome ownership got me a little more diversity that I probably want to use that. Again, I just, I just, I really want to try to get unique as much as possible. So the less of the big favorites you have, I guess the better as far as that goes. The other thing you could do is do geo mean filtering and geo mean filtering is, is, is it's a very fishy, uh, discipline to say the least i mean but all we're trying to do is force in an amount of ownership that we think is going to get um less duplication okay remember there are only well there's several ways to get low low uh uh minimum duplication number one is you could you know play very low own plays or number two you could leave money on the table right and and fortunately when it comes to League of Legends, you're going to end up leaving money on the table anyway. So it's not really worth just, it's not really worth doing that um, in, on purpose. I mean, you're going to get to that organically anyway. But what you could try is geo mean filtering. So again, what we're going to try to do is figure out mathematically which which lineups there are that are not going to be that highly duped. So this is the very unsophisticated, unproven way of doing this is... First, we find out how many entrants are in the tournament. That's going to be 1,960. And then we have a geo mean calculator somewhere. Where's my geo mean calculator? Or as the TV used to say, the handy dandy geo mean calculator. And you can get this on the TrueDFS website for free, by the way. Um, so we'll put in 1,960 entries in the calculator, uh, six players in the lineups. And then and then what we want to do is we want to put in 0. 0.1, okay? Because we really don't want any dupes. So we put in 0. 0.1. And so the geo mean of, of lineups that you're going to need to have a shot <laughs> to get one, you know, no dupes is a, is a geo mean of 19.2, right? So, so what we do with that number, 19.2, is we go back, let's take this off of Min Unique Scam, into here, and we'll filter this, and we'll go into Geo Mean less than 19.2, and fire that. And, and when you do that, I'm pretty sure you're not going to get like all the BLG NIP combinations as you had before. Um, for example, uh, actually, let's see. Team stacks. You know, you're still actually getting a good amount of BLG. Okay. But now you're getting more LGD, more Ninja in Pajamas, and more AL. Now, the, the other thing that we have not done yet. Well, by the way, we could try this with Minion too as well and see what that does. Uh not too much of a difference. Okay, so we should probably do this. So if you put in these lineups right now, you you've done a pretty good job, okay, of minimizing of minimizing the effect that that chalk is going to have. Okay, you're still going to end up with some duplication. It's just, you just are, um, and you're still going to have probably a lot of chalk. But at least you've done your best in a, in a sport which is difficult to do to get off of it. Now the other thing that's cool is that again. You do have seven straight four twos. Um, and again, I'm, I'm almost inclined to not even look to see what I have here, but just, just for the hell of it, you click here and you see what these look like. So here you have like a, like a one off from hope. I, I just can't see it. You know, H how do you get that home? You know, so you probably want to get rid of that one and you could, you could do rules, you know, to combat that as well. You know, uh, so all these with LGD, these one offs in these weird spots, you know, uh, you might want to consider getting rid of those. Um, and yeah, you could do a rule 
against that as well. You could, it would be a very difficult rule to make, but uh, that that is definitely something that you can do. All right, so let's say that we wanted to actually qualitatively decide who we want to play. In other words, you have 40 lineups here. What if we, we went in and just wanted to make sure we didn't have, you know, uh, I don't know, supports in the captain, if that's something you wanted to try, okay? Like you look here, you can go into here and you put captain and you're, you're probably going to get some, right? Um, actually, no, I mean, we ended up with, with, with nothing. No on in the captain. Well, that's very... Uh, very surprising. Usually, they you usually have to you usually have to um, make some decisions as far as that goes, but not today. So, what do we have here? Um, oh, I just want to see the position. Sorry, I know what they are, but I, just, I mean, always need to double check these. Okay, so yeah, so there's no supports, there's no team, there's all nothing like that. So we're cool there, and. I guess that's all you can really do. Now, again, there are still decisions you have to make. Like, number one is which of those four twos to use, if at all. Like, if you wanted to, I mean, you could just eliminate, you know, you could eliminate all of them. You know, you could you could go back into stack exposure and X out the four twos. But what I think you, I would probably want to do is go and just take out these. Let's go back into these four twos. And let's take out the ones with like the one off in like the ADC. We'll get rid of that one. This one again, one off ADC. I don't, I can't imagine that ever working. Um, one off from the mid. I mean, I could try from the top position for reasons I kind of alluded to earlier, but aside from that, mm, I guess that's pretty much, that one's fine. That one, again, is hope from the from the ADC position. Now, again, that, that is going to probably get you unique. Um, what's this one? Get rid of that. Again, we don't we don't need ADC. And I think we're now at the end, right? And these are pretty uh, these are pretty pretty uh, funny looking lineups, to tell you the truth. So we'll do one double check just to make sure that so here we're now getting fifty seven percent LGD. Um, we're pretty well split, spread out, not to mention 45% AL. And when you look at the four-man stacks, you know, NIP, highest known, then BLG. The only thing we're not getting, we're getting 20% LGD four-mans, but you're, we're not getting, we're only getting like two lineups with AL four-mans. Um, now, if you want more, you can certainly, you can certainly get more. Okay. Um, but I think it's pretty good. So let's go ahead and save these for now. And now we'll now we'll do the triumphal war. The triumphal warrior is much more. You know, first of all, we want to take out the what you call it the, uh, the geo mean filtering for openers. Let's go into now. The one thing you do want to do though is that you have to game the system a little bit because you can't. You just can't play that which is the highest projected lineup um, because. You will be duped even in a 16 person field, especially in that one. So you're going to have to just make like kind of a weird gamble here. So, like for here, um, see, this one actually doesn't look bad because, because the, the a lot of like this, where you have captain, then top, then ADC, and then the four man in the other positions, that's not your traditional look. Um, something more like this would be your traditional look, you know, like four BLGs starting with the captain. You know what I mean? It's not often that they put the 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 captain as part of the three. 
So um, th that's probably what I would do is, 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 is one of those types of stacks. Now this one, again, because it's the highest projected one, probably you don't want to use it. Okay. So let's, let's get rid of this one. No, we don't want to get rid of all of them. Just this one. How do I get rid of just this one? This one. And then this one isn't bad, but it's like more captain in the form. You know, the captain is part of the four stacks. So that's a little more popular. So we'll get rid of that one. And I think this one makes a little bit of sense. Okay. So let's put this one in for now. I think that's good. I think in a 16 person field, I don't think anybody's going to do that one. It's like the fourth most projected, and it it, it really doesn't look look pretty. Let's put it that way. So we'll save all these for now, and that's it. And that that's really the process, okay? Uh, for League of Legends is is, is getting the projections for a minute <laughs> and, and just trying to see if you can construct a portfolio that has a decent mix of having at least a chance to win and at least a moderate chance of being unique. Now, what you should have to do when you, um, when you uh, are checking your process is you do have to start keeping track of your uniques, you know, making sure that you have a chance. And this is, this is a site that, that I obviously very, uh, very highly recommend. I don't think we're going to, you'll see it right now. Let's see. Uh, yeah, it's not listed here. But eventually, when when you're able to upload your 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 lineups, you'll be able to see you know how many uniques you had and things like that, and you can continue to keep you know to keep uh, to keep uh, improving. And you can look at the, our YouTube channel where I did a video with the sports projection guy how to use this stuff. But um, I, maybe I'll do a, a follow up on that. Okay, so that is a very early look at the League of Legends slate. And as you just saw, I didn't really talk about the games at all. Um, and uh, that's it. Good luck, everybody.